you should start toilet training your child is one of the most conflicting topics out there with regards to toilet training. You just have to type in that question on Google and you'll get 20 different answers. So no wonder parents are struggling. And the challenge lies in the fact that this is probably one of the most key reasons why parents have so many issues when it comes to toilet training. Age is such an integral factor to whether you will go quickly or end up wasting months and months purely by what age you start. I'm going to show you the latest research done by the University of New South Wales. I was able to have the privilege to interview Anna Christie. She's the author of Toilet Training Infants and Children in Australia. And this is the largest research project done on toilet training in Australia. And what they discovered at the end of the project was that there is a window of opportunity whereby if you start in that window, you, have a go, you will go quicker and have less problems with regards to toilet training. You'll be surprised actually at how old they actually classified late toilet training is. Take a look at the video now. The topic is why are children still not toilet trained at two and a half, three and three, over three years old? That was the aha moment and I started to look into that topic and realised that over a half, probably a half a generation, a little bit more, maybe a little bit more, that there'd been a, a very profound change in behaviour. Whereas when I was raising my son, who's 24, um, you know, I had him on the potty at um, 14 months um, to do poo. And um, nowadays, I, that idea was now being considered like really fringe, very, very uh, was way out. Was that quite common though? In the um, at the time, I, was, I would say that it was already starting to come out of, of practice. So, you know, it, by the time of um, 1989, already a lot of people were losing the toilet training knowledge. That's why I say it's half to one generation, because the, I was sort of in that in-between stage where some people were going, oh, you're getting him a potty? He's only 14 months. Um, uh, so I, I think that um, by that stage, the factors that have caused, that have led to the uh, breakdown of child-rearing knowledge, shall we call it, had already started to come into play. Um, mobile families where, for example, a young, a young mother may not be anywhere near her female support system. Uh, child rearing philosophies that espoused child-led toilet training. And uh, also just the hurly-burly of modern life that made people think, oh, I'm not gonna be washing nappies. Um, those kind of factors, I think, all kind of started to mount up around that time. So as you can see, based on these real-life case studies, they proved that you will go quicker and have less problems starting in this window of opportunity, whereby they classified as 18 to 24 months. Basically what it comes down to, common sense principles, if you think about it. Why would you wait to start something new with your child at an age where they can say no really well? They classified late toilet training as two years old. It's called terrible two for a reason. And I guess this is where so many parents fall down because it's no longer about toilet training, it's all about the battle of wills that you're experiencing with your toddler, trying to get them to do something that they now don't want to do. So age is very, very important and the key is you need to start early.